Hi everyone, I'm here today because I want to do a video um, on something that I'm going to be doing for the next maybe couple of weeks, couple of months. It's kind of, there's two things. So I want to do a journey with my hair. As you've seen on my YouTube channel, I have done many, many things coloring my hair. I'm the shampoo queen. I've used all kinds of shampoos. Um, I've just like, you know, I find that I've damaged my hair by using so many products, meaning coloring, bleaching, um, by accident bleaching and removing the hair color and not liking it and then going back brown and then going back lighter. I mean, considering my hair is still very um, shiny and there's not many split ends, considering what I've done. Um, like I said in the main and team shampoo review that I did I wanted to see if that would help grow my hair I don't want like super super long hair where it's going to be too too long my goal pretty much is maybe like to grow it I don't know here so like maybe that much I want to grow it because this is my hair now I put it in these little pigtails <laughs> and uh, yeah so I want to grow my hair not super long just to a length where I feel comfortable and like I like it now it's good but I just want it a bit longer and I want to improve the condition of my hair like my hair is actually in pretty good good condition for all the stuff that I put it, th it through so um yeah this is video number one of um what I'm going to do in my hair journey so this is my length right now and I will be using the two shampoos I think I'm going to be using is Mane and Tail and um, the Aussie. But I want to go all natural. I found, which I'm going to go into more detail in another video, um, these natural products, um, hair masks and oils. Because I'm already into using a lot of oils. I love that. And I want to see if this is going to work to help improve the condition of my hair and the length and the strength and everything like that. So I'm not using one yoko, particular yoko, thing. Yoko. I am using everything in, in as a whole. Just everything I'm throwing it. I'm using, well, I also started, um, I'm, I got krill oil because I heard it was good for you. So I'm taking, but I mean, I'm doing everything. I'm doing the supplements. I'm doing the hair treatments. So I'm trying to like work it from the inside and out. So I am taking also um, cod liver oil. Like if you want to take any supplements, please uh, don't take what I'm taking. Go see a nutritionist or your doctor. Like, you know, this is just stuff that I'm showing you that I'm taking. So I'm taking krill oil and cod liver oil. I started these two together right away. And I found that as soon as I started taking it, it made my nails super hard which is cool, so that's a good sign. Mommy, I also mommy, heard mommy. K2 um, helps with, uh, you know, nourishing your hair, and it's good for you too. And also black currant oil. As I said, I've been taking it um, for quite a while now. I like it. I mean, with all natural mommy, products. Mommy, why you take all of them? <laughs> that's my beautiful son. It takes a while for it to work. So it's not like you're going to take it and it's like, boom, it's going to show an effect. This is all things that will gradually help. Um, so those are my supplements that I'm taking. I also, I did find something very interesting. Because I do like castor oil. And I had another video where, you know, I do put that, uh, with a couple other oils on my eyelashes um, and I found something very interesting I always used and bought this castor oil from Farmer Pre. it comes in a little bottle and I always found it was very very thick and sticky so then I bought this one at the health food store in a huge bottle it was like 20 bucks which is a great deal because I do use this um, on my hair also and you know it it's not as sticky and it even says it on the box it says do 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 uh, did it say oh yeah 
penetrates and non-sticky. So it even says it on there. And it's not as goopy and gross. And I like it. So I think it makes a difference. I think this one works less. I don't know. The, the drugstore one doesn't work as well. And this one actually, I find it works better. So... As before I was wondering, I'm like using castor oil on my eyelashes like just alone and it never really did anything so I was like eh. But then I started mixing Mommy, it like I said with the... All of them. <laughs> yeah, that's my beautiful son. With the other oils and it did do something, it helps. But I find this, because it's been maybe a week I've tried it and look at my lashes. Not, they've been long like this before. Like I said, I used the, the serum, the eyelash serum from before, and that stuff was really good. But when what I don't like about it is when you stop using it, the lashes will um, go back small. So I, it's been a long time. I, well, a couple of weeks I've stopped using it, and, and I was using the, it was um, castor oil and, a few different oils that I had made another video for and I was just conditioning my lashes with that and I find that my lashes stayed they didn't fall or anything they stayed long so I'm continuing with that and I also changed now with the castor oil and I'm using this one so I'm gonna see if it makes a difference so my second journey that I want to do is to get long lashes um, I also like people they watch these YouTube videos with these girls with like extremely huge lashes and I mean that's dirty, have beautiful lashes but it goes by everyone is personal and different if you've never had lashes like that I don't think you'll ever grow them like that unless you get them like false ones put on and stuff like that so you have to go to your natural what your body is going to grow like even with hair I mean there's different kinds of hair types and and we all have different you know hair thick and thin and like curly and straight so and then you know there's different types of hair like Asian hair African American hair like regular thin hair like all the different types of hair what you're born with type of hair you know so I mean, you're never going to achieve the, yes, I want that thick, long, straight, natural hair. I mean, if you're born with curly hair, you're never going to get it. You can't grow like that. So you have to go with your body makeup and what your genetics will allow you. So um, how I look at it, like that serum had brought me back to what originally my eyelashes were like. And I think when we're young and when we're like a teenager, we always have the best eyelashes, the best hair, the best everything. So if you had long lashes when you were younger, um, and then as you're older, whatever, mascaras or eyelashes or whatever we may have done in our our, <laughs> our time to, to destroy our lashes, well, if you start using the oils and this, that, it'll bring it back to what it should have been. So I don't think you'll get massive, like, super, super lengths. You'll just get the length you're supposed to get. That's what, that's my opinion anyways. I could be wrong. Maybe throughout my um, journey, I'll end up with monster lashes. That would be a bonus. But as it is right now, see my lashes, I have um, mascara on. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't have lashes like this when I first started doing YouTube videos, and I used that serum, and now it's like, yeah. So, that's what I want to do. Um, I'm going to be doing a couple of hair masks and talking about it. I already tried two of them. This is why I decided I want to do this hair journey, because I want... Um, I want to go all natural. I want natural because I've tried, you know, all kinds of different products that were bought in the salons and the stores and, you know, they don't work and, or they work for a bit. They coat your hair. They like, you know, and then it just doesn't work. But I tried one. Oh, my God. It is so good. Um, it just look at my hair. It's shiny. My hair is shiny and it's never been as shiny like this. It's awesome. So I, I'm so happy. I'm going to do a review and I'm going to tell you what I used on it in the next video. So I actually did two of them and both of them I like. The first one I tried was kind of like, 
okay, I didn't like the way one of the oils had smelled and, you know, I was supposed to leave it either overnight or for two to five hours. I could only stand it for an hour and then I had to wash it off. But the results of it afterwards, I was really happy with. So I'm going to try and go back, maybe gradually do it. Like I'll leave it for two hours the next time and then, you know, I'll gradually go with what I can handle. But um, yeah, I'll explain that one too. And anyways, these are all to promote uh, healthy hair, hair growth and stuff like that. So I really want to do that. But this is video number one. So, And what I'm doing also, I'm not even using any heat irons or blow dryers on my hair. I just, you know, I'm washing my hair and I'm just putting it these little, little uh, ponytails and I'm leaving it alone. So this is my length. As you see, this is my hair. Um, yeah, so I, and, and I'm so happy to say that the, one of those masks that I used, it was for anti-frizz, because I can have frizzy hair, you know, I have naturally sort of wavy hair, and when I just wash it and I leave it, and it dries, it dries like, you know, a little bit of waves, but it, I get that frizz, so when I use this mask, and as you can see, I well, I didn't curl my hair, I didn't use a blow dryer on it, nothing, and it doesn't, so I just dried it naturally, it doesn't have a frizz to it, it's just like, you know, it's soft, there's no frizz, so I was super, super happy with that, I couldn't believe it, and this is kind of what inspired me to want to do this journey of my hair, like I'll just take out my hair, I didn't do anything to my hair as you see, so, and it's not frizzy, and it is somewhat shiny. You know, and like I did another video when I did my balayage on my hair, I did put bleach on it. So, and to be quite honest with that, I didn't achieve the color that I wanted, so I would have to do it again and use some more products. So, that is why I want to condition it to where I want it, and you know, then maybe get to the goal of the hair color that I want also. So, that is it. I just wanted to do a quick video on, um, my journey at this is my hair video number one I want to do it um, every week I'll talk about it I guess it'll be a hair uh, vlog um, so you can see and you know listen to what I have to say about each mask and whatnot so that's it I, this is an introduction to my hair journey I hope you um, Follow it and watch with me as I continue. I will do another video like right after this one to let you know what I used for maybe my two hair masks. So maybe you can try it also and follow along with me. Or once you see the results that I used, you know, you can uh, do it also. So that's it. I just wanted to let everybody know what I'm going to be doing now. And I hope you enjoy and I hope you watch. So this will be a little bit different than my other videos. Um, yeah, so that's it. Take care. Have a really wonderful day. Wish you all the best. Subscribe. Watch my other videos. And take care.